repertoire that I used whenever the floor was tight. So you should be able to dance in very, very small, close places. I'll try to stay right in this area um, as, I'm, as I'm doing it all. First, I'll talk, talk ourselves through it. So we started with Ojibutata. step that she takes right here, I can start again. Here, I can start again. And since I'm not going anywhere, my steps aren't going in side steps anymore. So I'm basically in a circle with her rocking around me. I'm going to get under the fan, and that's going to be the perimeter of what I dance here. Somebody to her top. And then we left off the cross and the return from the side rock by going here. And we said, okay, well that's a left rock, but there's a left rock that goes to the left. That was a left rock starting a right turn, and then there's a left that goes over here. And so while we're rocking left, there's all this torque available anyway. Why don't we just start Osho there? So we said left rock, torque, buttress. And then we walk that to a cross. So left rock, torque, buttress, and then walk that to a cross. Now, if I don't really cover this, but if I don't take that forward step when I walk to the cross, we wind up with that. And that pulls me even tighter. So basically what happens when I'm dancing tightly, I quit taking steps and I try to figure out how to continue to lead her in what I already know she's comfortable with. So I'm going to start doing that and then I'm going to cover that right rock turn. But what was happening there at the end, this is the premise of my workshop this weekend. So when I quit taking steps, She's still in a comfort zone. So I replace the step, what would have been there in Nojo, with the rotation. And then I replace what would have been me following her out here into a cross with more rotation, and she crosses. So that's really the premise of, of how I dance small. Watch me dance the A-step basically. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when I put taking steps, it just she just starts going all around and around and around me, and that's how the milongero really in my mind is how I learned it anyway. So then we added to that this left rock turn, where usually we go here. We said, okay, then don't put that down and just create another rock and create this rock. And then at the end, we looked at these ochres versus these ochres. So now I'm going to dance a whole song right here and make this fan. And that's going to be the premise. When I don't want to take a step and walk out of the perimeter of this fan, I'm going to turn instead of taking a step. And she'll just go around me, and I continue doing figuras. They're just tinier, and they're more rotation. 